All right. So welcome everyone. We have just done a stream. And if you're wondering why am I doing another one, if you actually tune into the last one, well, uh, the simple answer for that is I missed the setting. <laughs> I missed the setting. So today is all about the debut of us with Dirt 4 in uh, in Twitch, you know. Um, and I did a noob mistake. Um, what I did was I didn't enable auto archiving in Twitch and uh, we lost our last video and it was quite an awesome video a lot of really good racing we went all different disciplines but I want to get something on this channel to kind of uh, concrete me into twitch so we are jumping back in just for a quick um, rally race something quick something dirty for our debut and we have a full motion cockpit um, we have our full motion cockpit. We are running the ProSimu T1000 2 degrees of freedom motion cockpit. We have our Fnatic um, V2.5 wheelbase, Fnatic V3 pedals, uh, Fnatic SQ 1.5 uh, shifter, and their handbrake, Fnatic's handbrake as well. Um, I go by Crash. On my YouTube channel, we have a little over a few thousand subscribers. I have a lot of reviews of all different products, um, some serious reviews. Uh, we also did some live streaming on YouTube as well, some racing in all different disciplines. You can check that out at RTA Motorsports. Uh, but here at Crashhawk uh, Racing or Crashhawk Gaming, we are just uh, just gonna relax, hang out, have fun. That's kind of the whole idea of me coming to Twitch is. I want to do more live streaming. I have so much fun with it, but in YouTube, it kind of drowns out our serious videos. Over here, I feel like I could just let loose and have fun, and that's going to be the point of this channel. So hopefully, you're all along for the ride. Um, I know I just live streamed a moment ago, and if you just seen that, uh, we actually lost the video because I didn't archive again. So we're just going to do a quick race just so that way we have something for our debut night. Um, I was a little upset to see that that video actually went bye-bye, but we'll just do something real quick. Because it is quite late here. It's about 4 a.m. where I am right now. <laughs> and let's see. We're going to abandon this. We tried that much earlier. Need much more practice when it comes to that. We're going to do rally. Um... I remember correctly it's gonna make me buy a car Let's see if we could actually afford a car now um, I wanted group a and it looks like we can buy a group a car now all okay so the Evo sold out we can get we can get the Impreza which is my favorite from Dirt Rally. Um, let's see what else we can afford. I don't know if we could afford. So, or we could get a newer WRX STI. Not really a fan of those, to be honest with you. Let's see how much these cost. Ooh, okay. That Subaru, the 2001 see what we have here as far as parts go I'm guessing as you get close to the group a let's just say what what these oh no I got out I think those are like the grades of parts that are available on the vehicle See, I want to see like these top cards just to see. All right, so this one here. All right, so those are the grades of like products that are on it. So you do got to do some repairs, it looks like. Upgrade a few things. But we're very close to affording an R5. Car is pretty banged up, it looks like.
Um, maybe we won't buy a car right now. We'll just, we'll keep racing in the free play until we find the specific discipline we like. Um, last time we did R2 and we're going to just bump that up power wise. Let's go to R5. Let's check out what R5 is all about. Check out that Ford Fiesta. What what was that in the R2? I think that was a Ford Fiesta as well. Okay, so let's see what the handling dynamics are with the Ford Fiesta and the R2. Let's see if it gives a, a horsepower of 180 horsepower, 2200 pounds. The R5 is 280 horsepower and a little bit less weight. So should be interesting to say the least. Um Difficulty settings, we have it on tough. We have pretty much everything on off. Everything is off if you haven't seen the earlier stream. And let's add an event. We're gonna go back to Wales and we're just gonna do one stage. We're gonna crank that sucker all the way up and we're gonna crank that all the way up. I got a little bit of a break from the last stream we did um, if you definitely stay tuned on that one, we did like four or five stages back to back, no break. And on the last stage, I was just completely wiped out. So took a little bit of a break. Should be good. Should be good. It is 4 a.m. here, but we should be good. Should be good. Um, let's leave this to midday so we can all see what's going on and dry. Here we go. Let's, let's make this a good one for the debut. So our system that we're running, uh, computer system, in case you're curious, I have it all kind of in the description of um, our YouTube channel. Uh, we're running at a, a Ryzen 1700 overclock to 4.9 gigahertz on water. And our graphics card's an NVIDIA 1080 Ti Founders Edition. And absolute beast of a card. I absolutely love it. And most of the stuff that we do... And other racing disciplines that you're going to see is in VR. We use the HTC Vive. Um, but, you know, as we all know, Dirt 4 is not VR friendly at the moment. But we do have the motion going. So, either way, we make do and it's still a heck of a lot of fun. So, let's do a shakedown just so we can get a feel for this car. Five, four, three, two, one, go. You can already tell on takeoff it is a lot... Stronger. Left six over crest. And right two over crest. Don't cut. Right five. Left six. Ooh, a lot more power. Right three. Crest. The approach is a six lot faster. Open air pin left. Whoa. Don't cut. Keep middle over crest. Dip right three. Sixty. Right three. Crest. Sixty through dip. Open air pin left. Whoa. Don't cut. Keep middle, over crest. Dip, right three, sixty. Through gate, right six, sixty. Through dips, left three. Oh, that's awesome. Keep right over bump. This is perfect. Left five, don't cut. Right three, into turn, square right, and right four. Left five, oh, yeah. don't cut. Left five, right four. Oh, crest. yeah. Left through dip and right two through dip. Oh yeah. That that was awesome. That was awesome. So this is actually going to be really fun because everything I was kind of complaining about about the R2 is resolved with the increased power and the lighter vehicle in the R5. So I think we might just save up and buy the R5. Good drive's gonna get us into better championships. All right, 10 minutes, so this is a long, long section. Five, four, At least going to be 10 minutes. Three, two, one, go. Left six, crest, right five, don't cut. Left six, through gate, left six, over crest. And I'm going to be right sore two, tomorrow. Crest, don't cut, right five, left six. Right three, crest, 60, through dip, open, hairpin left, whoa, don't cut. Keep middle, over crest. 
dip right three, 60. Right three, crest. 60, through them. Open hairpin left, long, don't cut. Keep middle, over crest. Dip right three, 60. Through gate, right six, 60, through dips, left three. Keep right over bump. Left five, don't cut, right three. It's a turn, square right, and right four. There we go. Don't cut. Left five. Right four over crest. Keep left through dip and right two through dip. Left three. Don't cut. Left six. Into open hairpin left. Keep in. Sixty over crest. Left five. Right four over crest. Keep left through dip and right. Some of the things that happen in dirt four. Don't cut. 100. That definitely surprised me where sometimes a car is crashed on the stage that you're going through. You have to avoid that. Uh, you get rocks caught in your brakes. It changes how the brakes work. Cause some damage to your vehicle. Sometimes your radio will cut out. And then you can't actually hear your calls. You just get a question mark. Where you hear like some of the call. And just static. Gets pretty crazy, pretty hairy. And left two long. And caution. Crest. Immediate right one. Right two. First thing that hits you though is just how vivid everything is. Almost makes my normal TV look like an HDR TV. Everything is just so vivid. Really high contrast. Moves. Tightens past junctions. Don't cut. Left six. One hundred. Left five. Moves very quickly too. But for this graphics card, there's no stuttering. I mean, I would expect there to not be on a 1080 Ti, but super smooth experience so far. Love the right torque six. of this car. Left six. It pulls you out of situations. Keep in. 60 over press. 100. Right four. In the left. Where the R2 would Bump die, this car just. Dip. Don't cut. Right five. Over five. Bullies through those situations. Left five. Right six. 60 bump. Immediate movement. Hairpin right. Keep in. Right six. Left six. Your dip. Left four over press. Into left six, through dip, 100. Right two, don't cut. Left three, right four. Into open, hairpin left, long, through dip, and right six. Keep left over press, don't cut. Right five, don't cut. Left one, Come on, press. come on. And right two, long. And keep left over press, and right one, long, open. Two, left two, press, 60. There we go. Left five. This is wonderful. Right four, press. Keep left through dip and right two through dip. Left three, don't cut. 100, press. Immediate right two, don't cut. Into left one. Keep right over press. Oh my gosh. Open, hairpin left. 
I am just so happy with this car. I don't know why. I didn't use it for the earlier stream. I am so happy I'm using it now. This car is an absolute animal. But I am working, if you can't tell. Definitely whip that one around way too tight. Could also cause right yeah. not paying attention, thinking too much about what I want to say. Um, you can cause uh, damage to the engine by over revving. It doesn't just blow; it'll start sputtering. I notice in the motion cockpit, it'll start jumping a little bit when the car is under load. A lot of telemetry that comes through this title. It's different than Dirt Rally as far as what's happening. But it's still really good. A lot of fun. Very intense if you want it to be. Very casual if you want it to be. I need to focus a little bit. We're getting towards the end. See if we can catch him. That was more like a hairpin. Left one, crest. And right two long. Uh, that was my fault. And keep left over crest. And right one long. Open. Come on. Get on the road. Into Come on, right. Two, crest. Don't cut. Sixty. Left six. Right five. Left five over bumps. And crest. Right one. Into left four. Left five. Keep right over crest. Don't cut. Left six. And open air pit right long through dip. Into left four. Right three. Left two. Left six. Crest. Dip. I'm already covered in sweat. I've only been doing this one stage. I'm already covered in sweat.
Whoever says this is more like an arcade, tell them to look at me sweat to death. This is my favorite part right here. Just this little, little touch here where you gotta slow down for the marshal. That is awesome. Okay. So it looks like Stage we got third place. Good job. Not bad for 4 a.m. racing. Not bad at all. I'll definitely take it. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, there was definitely some good stuff with that. This is the first time I'm using this car here. And this car is an absolute, absolute sweetheart. Thank you for tuning in if you are uh, and experiencing this with me because this is... We're still learning Dirt 4. And this car is absolutely amazing. Doesn't look like I'm going that fast. You see how far out you can see in the vastness that is Dirt Rally. Woo! Their sounds are awesome. I love the uh, the grunt of the car when it's under load, when you're going up hills, or the car is struggling in between the shifts. That that brr. You know, it almost sounds like it's just dumping fuel right into the manifold. The backfires sound good when you're when you get a rock caught in the brakes. You get the screeching. You can almost hear it in just one ear cup depending on what side it's on. You can almost get a feel if it's the back and the front. And these are not these are Sennheiser headphones. They're not 7.1 or anything, but I always get a I always get an idea of what what rotor is actually affected by whatever is in the caliper. Really good sounds. Really good sounds. Every car sounds very different. Um, just the vegetation looks awesome. It's almost distracting how good everything looks. Almost need blinders. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that looks. It looks it looks real. It really does. I mean you notice a little bit of the cartoony nature of some of the trees or just the in individual like branches, but when you're breezing right by it on the track, I mean, even in the replay, it just looks gorgeous. They really did a good job with this title. The main thing with this title versus Dirt Rally, when when I'm asked, what is your opinions, your first impressions? Um, Dirt Rally was very serious. Dirt Rally is very good as a simulator, but like iRacing, it's very serious and you feel it's very intense at all times. And a lot of people love the title, but they find themselves not going back to it that often because you're always kind of looking for that outlet, something to kind of take you away from that seriousness. Um, because it's exhausting, it's mentally exhausting. Rally racing, even though this is just a simulator, um, and some may argue with me whether or not this is a simulator, uh, but, you know, even though this is a sim title, or a game, or whatever you want to call it, um, I feel it's on the simulator side of it, with what I just did. It's still mentally exhausting. I was sweating, even though I'm not really doing anything all that physical besides, you know, handling this this wheel, which is really strong. Um, it's mentally exhausting. So you have other things in here like Land Rush or you could have free roaming over in the Dirtfish Rally School. You just do whatever the heck you want. Try to drift any of any of the vehicles you could ever want. You could take a Land Rush truck, a super truck, and put it on the Dirtfish track and do whatever you want. So you have both aspects of the serious rally all the way to just having fun and doing whatever. And I think that makes it a more inclusive title. And I really respect the Codemasters team. Um, at first I was really upset there was no VR support because if you go to our YouTube channel, uh, there's a lot of VR content. That's how I prefer to race. But seeing how inclusive they made this title and how smooth it runs and how well it runs at launch, um, I respect it. I respect it. And I do trust that there's going to be VR support in the future. 
uh, because it was so successful with Dirt Rally. I just don't see why they wouldn't. But um, I'm sure they just want to make sure everything is smooth before they jump into that. Keep left through dip. Into that stage. Left three. Don't cut. One. But yeah, this was awesome. Look how dirty that car is. Look at all the dirt on it. It looks... It actually looks realistic and tangible. I mean, it looks like it's appropriate levels of dirt from that track on that car. That's beautiful Picture artwork. Right three. And left six over crest through gate. 150. Turn right three long. That's the one we took way too hard. Look at this replay. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. Right six. Into left four. Into right three. And, and I like how it doesn't crest. say dirt four everywhere. Left three, dip. You have Keep like middle, EBC brakes, which is, you know, that, that could be a real sign. You don't see dirt fall all over the place. I mean, we have it ghosted in the bottom left, but, you know, all over the track, it's not all over the place. You don't have little drones flying around that says dirt four on them or anything like that. Helicopters in the background that say dirt four. You don't see any of that. Hey, Bubboy, 1959. Thank you for uh, following me on Twitch as well. Into right Greatly four. appreciate it. Into left six, 80. Left five, keep right over crest. Left six. And open hairpin right long through dip. You know what? We'll do one more stage. We won't watch this whole replay because that definitely was really long. You can see we're in third place. Not too bad being 4.20 in the morning. And we'll do one more. I was only going to do the one, but you know what? We got to. We got to do one more. See the motion cockpit freaking out. After every stage, it does that. It just resets. Now, it's not the fault of this. It's just the telemetry data coming from Dirt Rally to Sim Tools, which I'm using. So let's uh, let's change this up. So instead of all the way up, let's put this all the way down. So we'll do a short track and we'll do like sunset and dry. Let's see what that looks like. And let's generate the stage and see what it's gonna. All right, so about a mile and a half as opposed to what the last one was. So let's see how different this feels. We're still at Wales in the R5 Ford Fiesta Rally. 280 horsepower, I think it was, with 2,700 pounds. Just like a land cruise missile. Absolutely insane. We'll uh, do a shakedown just to kind of get a feel for it. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Left six, keep middle over crest. Through gate, keep right over crest. Into left three, into right Whoa. four, into left six. Oh my gosh. Gate. Into left three, into <laughs> right four, into left six. Oh my gosh. That's the first time I've ever actually done that. <laughs> well, good thing that was on the, uh, is it going to let me actually do a race? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do another shakedown. Five. Wow. Four, three, two, one, go. Left six, keep middle over crest. That would have been embarrassing if I was actually okay. doing the stage keep and that happened. Over crest. 
into left three, into right four. There we go. Left six, 60, left five. Right three, don't cut. Into turn, square right, and right four. All right, so very short, very short shakedown. Let's just go into the stage. Hey, that wrecking was great. No surprises. Good luck out there. Like I said, sometimes you, you know, she'll tell you, you got to be careful. There was a big crash earlier, and randomly in the track, Five, there'll be a car four, half in a ditch three, on the side of the track two, that you have to four, avoid. Go. You can actually hit it. Right over crest. Into left three, into right four, into left six, 16, left five. Right three, don't cut. Into turn, square right, and right four. Left Taking out signs. Right six, into left four. Into Sunset right three, looks gorgeous. And left six over crest. And left six over crest. <laughs> left six over bump, right three. Right three, crest, 60, through dip, open, hairpin left, long, don't cut, keep middle, over crest, dip, right three, 60, keep right, over crest, into left three, don't cut, into right four, into left six, don't cut, 60, keep right, oh. over crest. What happened? Into left three, What's that noise? Cut, into right four, into left six. I think that's something in my brakes again. Right six. Went away now. Right four over crest. Dip. Keep middle over crest. 16 over finish to stop. All right, enter to the control. That was really short. Look at that, first place. Awesome result. Awesome. That was unbeatable. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ah, oh, you know what? Maybe we'll do another short one because that was actually shorter than I was expecting. And... Woo! First place. Go! 25 points. And... Ah... Uh... Maybe we'll try the whales. Let's do, well, you know what? Change location. Let's do. Let's do Spain. I don't know what Spain's all about. But we'll do short and complex again. Leave the weather alone and confirm. Looks like it's just tarmac. Maybe mix. I think it already said what it was. Yeah, smooth asphalt. All right, so that should be pretty cool. We haven't really ran anything asphalt wise, so we'll get a good feel as to what the heck that's all about. Tarragona, Spain. I read on a few accounts that they've actually um, improved on their tarmac uh, road feeling. So we'll do a shakedown. Five, four, three, See what two, this feels like. One, go. Left three, 60. Right six, over bump, 80. Left five, over bump, 60. Right six, right four. And left two, through it, into left one, 80, right four over crest. Right wow. two, into open, hairpin left, long, 60. This is going to be intense. We're probably going to destroy this car. I have no idea how I made it down that without absolutely decimating the car. But somehow we made it down that. That's so hopefully this... Oh, we should just get a clear run. All right, so hopefully this should work out for us. A minute and 48 for the leader. Let's see how 
how we get through this. Three, two, one, go. Left three, sixty. Right six over bump, eighty. Left five over bump, sixty. Right six, right four, and left two. Oh, I love the tarmac. If that's not apparent, and mind me not talking. Into left four over crest. And air pin right. And left three over crest. Into right six. Left four over crest. 80. Right one. Into right two. And left four. Right one, and left three long, opens, tightens, and right three, right four, to finish. All right, take her slow to the control. Oh wow, we already got first place, right? <laughs> yeah. That was awesome result. That was a wow. Beautiful. Wow, wow. I'm in love. I'm in love with this title. Absolutely in love with it. Let's take a look at that replay. Very quick replay. Right six over bump 80. Left five over bump 60. Let's see if I can right figure six, out what buttons. Right four. And left two through dip. Into left one, 80, right four over crest. Right two, into open hairpin left, long, 60. 100. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Right six. Trying to figure out exactly what buttons change the view. So tarmac actually feels really good, very progressive. Um, you can see, I mean, we got first place on our first run on a track I've never been on. This is the track creator, so it's a very random track, and um, everything just felt logical and predictable. I knew I wanted to stay away from those curbs as much as possible. We had our mistakes that we made. I think here was one of them. Yep. And I kind of had a feeling if I hit that curb and then hit the wall like we did, what was going to happen happens. So if you could go back and see my facial expressions as I was trying to avoid it. But everything felt really good and really predictable and so much better than Dirt Rally on the tarmac side of it. <laughs> we almost hit those people up there. You see them all like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Dirt Rally, oh not Dirt Rally, Dirt 4. Awesome. So, as usual, I'm Crash. This is Crash Hawk Gaming, I gotta get used to saying that. Definitely check us out on RTA Motorsports on YouTube as well. And uh, I'm probably going to post this on the YouTube channel as well. And as usual, we're going to be coming on this channel as much as we possibly can, just having fun and hanging out. And see you all next time. Thank you for tuning in.